also, of course, the pulse size optics that matches the, uh, the sensor size. And the third thing is also for algorithms, how we have optimized the pixels to, you know, over, uh, the pixels get oversampled. So, which means if you take a 5 megapixel uh, image and you have an area of uh, a big area and how it captures the pixels and, and oversamples it and makes it into, so seven pixels into one, basically. And that's how you get the crystal clear images um, that you can get in 5 megapixels. So that's the, you know, that's what the benefit is. And also the zoom is pretty, is lossless zoom. And low light is fantastic because you really lose, you don't lose anything. You don't have noise or little noise in low light. Uh, as you saw, I showed you the Japan, uh, pictures in Japan as well. So that's that's the thing. And, and then you can also share immediately because if you take a 5 megapixel picture or a 3 megapixel picture, you can share it to Facebook, etc. But you don't lose the quality. The, the most important thing is the image quality. How clear, crystal, and you know, beautiful it is. Yeah. So I showed an example of why you have a, res a big resolution is that you can see depth. You can see the, the background, you know, image. So this is taken with the five megapixel. Right? And then we have also other other images that are taken with the. This is full resolution. And this is the girl with the snowflake. This much resolution. You zoom in, you can actually see the snowflake on her hair. How amazing is that? Okay. But pure view, it's just extra setting. And then we also have some adventure pictures. So, like I said, you don't need, you know, one one okay. one uh, device is enough. So if you're going on a holiday and you're into rock climbing. <laughs> And this was taken with this camera. You can see, you can even see the guy shoot. And it's got great video as well. And the video demos are over there. It's 1080p. 